Everybody and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel and I'm here to do some unboxings today. I've got some Arrow stuff, I've got 88 films, I've got one Scream Factory release that I'm going to unbox and just give you all the full uh, detail of all the contents of each one of these packages. And yeah, some really cool release. We're going to start with the Arrow Video December releases and this is My Stepmother is an Alien. Uh, classic movie from, I think... The 80s? Uh, if I, I, I could be wrong. I think it was like 88 or something like that. Let's see. Let's get this plastic off of here. I almost mangled this. Every time I try to cut these open, I always do something. Uh, but let's get the plastic off of this. I like that they just have the traditional slip cover with this one. It's a nice slip cover. Very colorful. Uh, some really cool artwork on this one. So yeah, I really... Really enjoy the artwork on here. You got the My Stepmother's an Alien title card. You got Dan Aykroyd, Kim Basinger at the top. You got Allison Hannigan over there with the dog. I do remember this little like one-eyed snake alien creature thing uh, from the movie when I was a kid. But yeah, I've not seen this movie since I was probably like 10 years old or something. Uh, but yeah, looking really nice spine right there. You got the, the same font work right there. You got the little spaceship up there, which is a nice touch. You got Arrow Video. Go ahead and flip it right here. You got a quote up at the top. He married a girl from out of town, way out of town. I'll kind of zoom in on the synopsis real quick. Interesting that they got Dan Aykroyd for Ghostbusters, but then they got Kim Basinger for the nice guys. Like, that's the movie that she's known for. Uh, she was good in that, but it's like, I would think you'd put like LA Confidential or something instead of the nice guys. But John Lovitz in this movie, I didn't even remember he was in there. Steve Mills, let's see. Uh, yeah, you got the whole... You got the whole uh, synopsis and stuff. You got all the special features right here. Brand new audio commentary by critic Brian Rashawn. Cosmic Encounters directing My Stepmother's an Alien. Got an interview with the director. Let's see if you got any interviews with like Dan Aykroyd or Kim Basinger. That would have been cool to get. Uh, but it does not look like you do. So uh, I'll zoom in on the specs down here at the bottom as well. All right, so we'll go ahead and take this out of the packaging and then we'll show you the regular blu-ray case everything seems to be exactly the same except for you got the casting list down there below but we'll go ahead and open this up cool disc art i really really like that disc art right there on this one uh you got some more little cards in here you got a poster which is cool arrow video oh no this isn't a poster damn it <laughs> just a booklet just a booklet but a nice booklet i appreciate the the extra effort that went into this. So yeah, some cool artwork on here for sure. I wish I knew the artist's name. I'm sure it's on here somewhere, but it's some really nice work. So let's go ahead and flip the reversible cover art. Then you have the original poster right there for the movie. That is really cool. Awesome stuff. And then we'll go ahead and put the put the card and everything back in the case. Put it back in the slip cover. And then we'll move on to this next release. So yeah, really cool release. This is definitely probably the premier title of December for, for Arrow Video. Well, let's move on to the Mill of the Stone Women. And I was really surprised by this release. I think it came out the first week of December because I did not know this was going to be like a big box release. I thought it was just going to be like a regular slipcover. Um, but they really went uh, the full... Uh, they did the full treatment with this one, so they went at the extra mile, I guess you would say. All right, so let me be extra careful with this sticker. I always I always rip the J card when I try to take these off. Not always, but I, I have done it before, uh, and then I've had to have, like edit it out of the video uh, so you guys didn't see how big of a goof I was when I was unboxing. But All right, so we'll take the, take the J card off. I'll show you the... Show you the info on the back. So you got a two disc uh, collector's edition right here. So I'll show you all the top with the, the font. Really cool font work. I like that font work right there. Uh, before Black Sabbath, before the whip and the body, director Giorgio Ferro, The Lion and Thebes, Blood and Silver Dollar, introduced audience to a period horror Italian style with his chilling 1960s shocker, Mill of the Stone Women. Looks really cool. But yeah, you got the synopsis. You got the info on the release and then you got the contents of each one of the discs right here so you have the italian and english export versions on disc one 
And on disc two, you have the French and US versions. So that's pretty cool. You got multiple versions of the film. You do have Dolby Audio in this release as well. So yeah, pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. So let's look at this artwork on the front. Some really cool artwork. We'll look at the spine right here. Go ahead and flip it. I really like this, this drawing on the back. That's really cool as well. I, I'm looking forward to watching this movie for sure. Looks very interesting. And of course, you got the Arrow Video booklet right here. Go ahead and flip through this. Show you a little bit of that. Really cool. I don't know if this is like a straight up like Giallo style film or or what's it all about. But yeah, let me know if I if I need to be watching this like immediately. And then you got the poster right here. You got the original poster, it looks like, and then you got the the arrow video artwork. So yeah, some cool stuff. Put all that back in there. We'll show you all this case right here. The spine. It's the exact same back as the J card. Go ahead and open this up. You got this disc right here with some cool artwork on it. And then you got this other one with some really cool artwork too. So I like the fact that it's different. You don't always get that. Uh, so I do appreciate that. And then inside you got the cards. So yeah, this is just the full treatment like they do with a big release like Tremors or Dune or Legend or one of those. So yeah, just really surprised because I've never really heard of this film before. So cool stuff though. Cool stuff by Arrow Video. I'll go ahead and flip the reversible cover art. Ooh, I really like this artwork. I think I like this almost better than the, uh, the Arrow artwork. So yeah, the original artwork right here. Very cool. Show you the back and the front and the side and all that stuff. And then we'll put this back in the, uh, the package. So yeah, some really cool stuff sent to me for review this month by Arrow Video. December was a, a killer month for Arrow. And I would say almost every month this year was a killer month for Arrow. They did some great work in, in 2021. Hopefully they continue to keep it up in 2022 all right so let's show you all this giallo essential set so there's three movies in here i know we did the unboxing of the first one and i thought that they were supposed to be like called volume one and volume two but i don't really see uh volume two on this set uh but it does include what have they done to your daughter strip nude for your killer and torso and I'll show you. I, I have seen Torso. I watched that earlier this year on Tubi, actually. So, But it's nice to have it in the collection now. It's a really good Giallo film. Um, so, yeah, some really cool artwork on this. Some really cool artwork. I do like the artwork on this one better than the, um, the last one, to be honest. And then I'll kind of zoom in on this uh, synopsis and show you all the contents of each one of these. So these were both previously... Or these were all three previously released by Arrow Video. So they're just the Arrow Video releases that were put into uh, new packaging. So it's the same artwork and stuff that's been used before. But I really love the torso artwork. I think that's pretty awesome. I'll show you all the back and the contents of the special features and the specs and all that stuff. And then we'll open it up. Cool artwork on the disc. Really like that artwork. But yeah, this is a really good movie. I enjoy this one quite a bit. Go ahead and flip that. Show you all that reversible cover art right there. And then I'll flip it back because I think I, I like the Arrow video artwork a lot better. Yeah, some really cool artwork. Sergio Martino. Definitely up there with uh, Dario Argento as far as Giallo directors. But what have they done to your daughters? I have not seen this one. I haven't really heard much about it either. You got the spine right there. You got the back. You got the synopsis, special features, specs, all that stuff. Go ahead and pop this open. Cool discard on this one as well. Go ahead and flip the artwork. And yeah, I was lucky enough to just have never bought any of these before. So it's cool to have them in the collection now. Cool stuff right there. I'll go ahead and flip it back because I like the arrow artwork better on this one as well. And then we'll move on to Strip Nude for Your Killer. I remember when this one came out, it was a, it's a very interesting title. It kind of grabs your attention. Um, but I never, never picked this one up and have not seen it. So I'll zoom in on the 
synopsis if it'll ever focus for me and then I'll show you all the special edition contents and the specs. Go ahead and open this up. Cool artwork on this one. I really, really like the artwork. Go ahead and flip it. Very colorful artwork on these three releases. That looks like you got somebody in some kind of biker helmets and outfit killing people. Yeah, some cool stuff though. I, I like this box set. It's a really nice box set and I'm looking forward to dig it into at least two out of three of these because I've seen Torso before, but I'll at least watch Strip Nude for Your Killer and what have they done to our daughters soon. Go ahead and put this back in. But over to the side, and we have The Disciples of Shaolin, which is an 88 Films release, uh, a Shaw Brothers film. It's even got the Shaw Brothers logo, I believe, on the bottom. And then I think it's on the side as well. Uh, but yeah, I know they're supposed to be doing that Shaw Arrow video set. I haven't gotten any word if I'm getting that in anytime soon. Uh, but hopefully I am. Definitely want to get into some more Kung Fu films. So you got Disciples of Shaolin. Really cool artwork on the cover of this. Nice spine right there. And yeah, this is like my third or fourth 88 films release. And I haven't got a chance to check out any of them yet. But cool artwork on the back. You got the cast list down there. You got the specs at the bottom. Go ahead and take this out of the slipcover. 88 films has some really spectacular packaging. Really enjoy the packaging on these, on these releases. Go ahead and open it up and it felt pretty heavy. So yeah, nice discard right there. Open this up. You got a, a cool little booklet, nice thick booklet for the release. And then you got a, a cool poster right here. So yeah, 88 films. Pretty close to Arrow Video and their work. So you got this original poster and then you got the 88 films artwork right there. I'm trying to fold this back correctly nice thick heavy release flip that you got that same artwork right there that we showed off on the poster and put that back in put this back in the slip cover and we'll move on to a little bit more of a familiar release but the krampus 4k um i don't know if i'll actually get around to watching this before christmas or not but i am glad to have it in the collection because it's the new screen factory 4k uh but some really cool artwork right here i'll show you all this spine we'll show you the reverse right here i like the blue fonts and all that it just looks really cool but you got this uh you got a 4k disc and you got the blu-ray disc in this one this is the naughty cut edition um so up there you got this the uh, synopsis, you got the casting list, all that stuff. Go ahead and take it out of the slipcover. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed because they kind of set the standard with those Halloween releases and those hard box, hard boxes. Um, and I, I was hoping that they would do that with all their 4Ks. But this is more like the They Live and Prince of Darkness 4Ks that it did earlier this year. So yeah, we got all the same stuff right here. Open it up. And nothing on the inside. This is a pretty bare bones as far as like... Uh, booklets or anything like that which you know Screen Factory doesn't usually do a lot of booklets or stuff in theirs they're not like Arrow but some cool stuff though the Blu-ray artwork looks like the same artwork that was on the original Blu-ray and then you got the new uh, Screen Factory artwork for the 4k so yeah pretty bare bones um, but yeah I'll zoom in on the special features again one more time casting list and all that stuff so I don't know. Um, I've heard decent things about this 4K and how it looks, so hopefully I'll get a chance to check it out before Christmas. But if not, I'll watch it next Christmas or something and do a review then. So, uh, But I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of these Screen Factory Aero Video releases, um, 88 films, all that good stuff. I just wanted to do the full treatment and unboxing since I got most of these in. Uh, for review for these companies. So if you have any interest in purchasing these, I will leave the link for purchase in the description below. Uh, but yeah, guys, appreciate you watching. Please like this video. Comment down below your thoughts on all these releases. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications for all of those future videos. And we'll see you next time.